All right, so my name is George Wentz, and the article that I looked at for this project, it was titled The Effectiveness of a Four-Channel FDS Based on a Normal Gate Pattern on Subjects with Early Stroke, a Randomized Controlled Trial, and the level of evidence for it was a 1B. This was a single-blind randomized controlled trial. The target population represented subjects early after experiencing an ischemic stroke. Type of electrotherapy utilized in this article was a four-channel FES system in comparison with the placebo four-channel FES system along with a dual channel, just looking at activating the dorsiflexors. So if we come over here, <coughs> the specific uh, parameters for this electrotherapy setup for the dual channel as well as the four channel FES were, was the frequency was set at 30 Hertz. The pulse width was set at 200 microseconds. The current amplitude was set at a maximum tolerable intensity for what the patient could withstand. The electro placement for each channel was at the tibialis anterior, the quadriceps, the hamstrings, and the gastrocnemius of the affected leg. The on off time sequence, it replicated the gait cycle. Uh, the cycle interval was for five seconds and then the position of treatment was in the sideline position and stimulation uh, time period it lasted for 30 minutes per session one session per day five sessions per week and then it lasts for three weeks and then they also looked at a follow-up period three months later so this is just a diagram demonstrating the on off cycle for uh, the gait cycle and basically you can see initially during stance phase you can see that all the muscles are activated except for the gastroc and they didn't do this in the article but I try to think of it by breaking up into increments of five since it was a five second interval so initially we have everything activated except for the gastrocs and then as you go throughout stance they just activated the gastrocs and then at the end of stance mainly quadriceps and the tibialis anterior and then as we go through the swing phase it's mainly the tibialis anterior along with some of the quadriceps along with the hamstrings and then this bottom picture this is uh what they did the patients they supported at around the knee and the ankle with a sling on the affected lower extremity and then so we come back over here and basically the results showed that for the fugal mire assessment uh, for lower extremity motor function as well as the modified Barthel index looking at dependency and ADLs. Basically, they're significantly higher for the four channel FES group in comparison to the dual channel FES group. And then the scores of the pass for the postural assessment scale for a uh, stroke, as well as the Berg balance scale and the modified Barthel index in the four channel FES group were significantly higher than the placebo. And all these were at the three week marker after the treatment period. And then at the follow-up time period, three months later, basically there weren't any significant differences except for somewhat between the four channel and then the placebo four channel in terms of the Berg balance scale and the modified Barthel index. And overall, this study just showed that for the four channel FES, it can improve motor function as well as balance, walking ability, and um, just performance of ADLs at the three week marker and then these improvements can be maintained at a three month follow up time period. And so my opinion is that basically, based solely on these outcomes at the three week marker, I would utilize this four uh, channel FES system in comparison to the dual channel uh, system due to it being more effective uh, approach in terms of just lower extremity motor function as well as independence in the performance of ADLs. Uh, and then if we specifically look at like patients with quad and hamstring uh, impairments along with maybe them demonstrating synergistic patterns and maybe some spasticity, I feel like this four channel system with it emphasizing the sequential activation of just specific muscle groups that would be activated during the gait cycle, this could help patients return to completing functional movements with the proper activation with ambulation as well as just daily activities. And I would use these same parameters as I talked about over there, except I would try to make the patients do it in weight bearing instead of in sideline just to maximize the benefits of neuromuscular re-education if the patients were capable of it. And uh, just on another note, I think that this system, it's a great idea. However, a couple drawbacks to it are just basically the time frame for the setup just taking a long period. And I'll show you that setup here in a second as well as the, uh, I guess, 
when you look at that on off cycle that I just show you that diagram it's pretty tough to replicate when you don't have intervals at each second to know how to set that up on the ESTEM machine so those are just some limitations to this setup so if we come over here and basically what you're looking at first is the suspension system at the ankle as well as at the knee holding that leg up and most of these patients in this study weren't able to ambulate and that's why they utilize this sideline position and then if we looked at each uh, channel setup we're gonna have two electrodes per channel so two on the uh, tibialis anterior, two on the gastroc, one on each belly and then two on the quads and then two on the hamstrings and basically that's about it for that and then if we come over here this is just basically the uh, e-stem setup and I have all everything already plugged into it and then yeah, get back on there and then basically what I'm gonna do is go forward and then I'm gonna uh, increase the amplitude and I'll tell the patient that she's gonna probably initially feel some tingling and then get into some contractions and then maybe harder contractions and these contractions should be comfortable for her but what I want you to do when you feel the contractions is go along with it so if you feel I guess the muscles in the front of your leg going off try to help them out and so what I would do so I'm going to turn it up now and what I want you to do do you feel it mm -hmm. yep so can you go along with those contractions so initially she's not going to contract the gas drop but everything else according to this study protocol and then as she goes through stance mainly just gas drop and then going into swing it's going to be everything except for gas drop and it's going to be mainly the tibialis anterior and yeah that's about it